Weekend Edition with Drudge Deep, Soft Side. Hello and welcome to the Weekend Edition with me, Rajdeep Sardesai, and the cutter of news through the week. Which are the stories that matter? Which are the debates that we focus on? Every weekend, we hope to train the searchlight on those stories. Let's bring you the headlines first on the Weekend Edition. Corporate India bats for Narendra Modi as Prime Minister and sparks off a controversy. Is the Gujarat Chief Minister really Prime Ministerial material and acceptable now to all? Slumdog millionaire sweeps the Golden Globe. Does the film rom romanticize India's poverty? Actor Irfan Khan joins us later in the show. Also on the show, we'll bring our editorial of the day, image of the week. But first, the big controversy of the week. And it's corporate India's big endorsement of Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi. The praise of leading industrialists for Modi and suggestions that he could be Prime Minister has created a flutter in political circles. What was considered unthinkable till a few years ago is now suddenly in the realm of possible. Here's what the big wigs of India Incorporated had to say on Brand Modi. During my last visit that my father saw in Narendra Bhai, and I'll use the Gujarati phrase that I used last time, saying, Lambi race no ghodo che. That if one Dhirubhai Ambani could do so much for India, imagine the power of a thousand Dhirubhai. Similarly, if one Narendra Bhai can do so much for Gujarat, imagine what is the possibility for India by having Narendra Bhai as the next leader of India. We are running a big company. We understand it from the same way. We are growing up. But today I would like to say that if there is a CEO in this country, which is not a company, not a sector, not a state, not a country, that is Shri Narendra Modi. I am very proud that I listened to my own advice. And that today I can stand in front of you and say that, that perhaps I'm not stupid any longer. He, in the leadership of Sri Narendra Bhai, a determination to overcome all odds, a determination to engage with all sections of society. Okay, it brings us to our question of the week. Is Narendra Modi now really prime ministerial material? That's the big debate. Joining us on the show, Suhel Seth, managing partner, councillor, Chandan Mitra, Rajya Sabha MP, close to the Bharatiya Janata Party. He's also editor-in-chief of the Pioneer. Manish Tiwari, spokesperson of the Congress. Also joining us from Gandhi Nagar, Tridip Surud, Gandhian scholar based in Gujarat. Thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, the big question, now that corporate India has endorsed Narendra Modi, has he taken one more step closer towards becoming the next Prime Minister of the country, Chandan Mitra? Yes, definitely. Without doubt. I think this is something that was waiting to be said. And the years of sustained media campaign and also campaign by his political opponents to put him down and denigrate him has now been finally completely defeated. I think Narendra Modi is definitely one step closer to his... The, what we need in this country is Prime Ministership. Manish Tiwari, is there, is there an acknowledgement in some circles? I, I know you can't say it on the program, but deep down inside, are you accepting, conceding that Narendra Modi is going to become maybe not 2009, but 2014? The man you will have to defeat? Let's understand one thing very clearly, Rajdeep. It's not five industrialists who elect the Prime Minister of India. It's the one billion people of India who elect the Prime Minister. And the second thing is, you know, I have no problems with a particular industrialist endorsing a, uh, a political leader. But look at the man they've endorsed. He has the blood of innocence on his hands.
he is a man who is not allowed to step on the soil of the United States of America because of his abysmal uh, human rights quick, record. Quick he he, he no. is a person who has led that whole straight so, so, up a so, garden so, so you are going to judge him in 2008 by 2000, in every in every debate of this kind, Narendra Modi will be judged through the prism of Godra and Gujarat 2002. Of course, because, be. of course, because Adolf Hitler is similarly judged through the prism of uh, the concentration camps well, against I, the Jews. I can, I can only remind Manish that the blood of many innocents is very much in the hands of the Congress particularly of those who died in the anti-Sikh violence in 1984. So that cannot be a criteria in Congress. There's nobody to talk about it. Allow, allow me to come back on yes, that. See, unlike, un unlike the Bharatiya Janata Party, the Congress expressed regret, apologized for it. But their, but, but, no, no, but, their, but their leadership went to Goa and actually patted him on the back after, after the Goa massacre. 